Hello scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and I have my counterfeit kit club challenge here and uh, my kit that I've made. Uh, you can watch a video to see how I made that and I'm going to be using that today. And usually when I make scrapbook process videos I have no plan whatsoever. But today I um, do have a little bit of a plan. So. My son is just struggling through middle school, which I think is not unusual, but he also has, um, you know, he, when he's feeling down, he can tend to really focus on the negative. And so I try to really, um, help him to say like, to see the positive in life. And, you know, sometimes if you're the one who keeps saying like, oh, see the, po you know, if you're the one who, he really, he dumps a lot of his negative on me. Um, not in a negative way, but he just, like, I'm who he unloads to. And so <laughs> it's, it's sometimes hard to, to keep it happy. Um, but, <laughs> so. Um, what I did before this started was I went on Pinterest and I um, searched happiness quotes, positive quotes, and brave quotes. And I made a couple of these Project Life type cards that I want to use on this layout. So I picked photos and I also went into a storage binder, um, which is where I keep my photos. And I picked some photos where we were having like a fabulous time. We were skiing. And I was so much, because I had been to this mountain before out in Colorado, and I was so much looking forward to bringing my kids to this restaurant at the top of Durango Mountain. It's called Dante's. And I was just so excited. It was going to be like the best thing ever. And um, we got up there, and my son just like was just grumpy. And I think it was because he didn't have food yet. See the face? Um, super grumpy. And... I was like, you just have to enjoy it. This is awesome. And it it was just like, I was, I was frustrated because I, you know, wanted him to just enjoy himself. And I was, you know, it took me a long time to get in there that day. And I did. After he, after he ate, he felt a lot better. Um, sometimes I really have to encourage him to eat. Like I tell him, if your tummy's unhappy, then your brain is unhappy. But, so that's. So, and like currently in life, we're just having, his birthday's coming up and he's, he just, um, he just doesn't want to get older. <laughs> he's like Peter Pan. He would like to, he would prefer to stay young. So, um, I looked at some positivity quotes. So these are what I came up with so far. So happiness comes when you stop complaining about the troubles you have and offer, offer thanks for the troubles you don't have. And then I added, be grateful, be positive, be happy. And on the other side, um, I wrote, think positive, be positive, and positive things will happen. And that's a quote, I'm not sure by who, but I've um, outlined each card so that they look a little bit the same. And these are um, Project Life type cards, pocket page type cards um, from me and my big ideas, which is like Mambi. <laughs> but... Um, this one says, be careful about how you are talking to yourself because you are listening. And that's by Lisa Hayes. And on the other side, Mac, you are amazing. Remember that. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Seriously, love mom. And I think that's a quote by the guy that wrote Winnie the Pooh. And if I were writing a book report, I would be, you know, attributing all of the quotes to who they belong to, but this is my scrapbook, so some of them get, um, like this one get a credit, but not all of them do. A good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures for anything, which is an Irish proverb. And then I wrote number three, cheeseburgers and skiing, because we had cheeseburgers that day. And then every little thing is going to be all right, which I believe is a Bob Marley song. So I just wanted to, I made those, and then I wanted to show you two more. So these ones were already printed, Keep a Smile in Your Heart, and then all I did was just draw around the edge of that one, and this one says, the happiest people don't have the best of everything, they just make the best of everything. So I wanted to show you how I just 
um, I'm going to, instead of writing on the other side of these, because these are actually a lot thinner than like the, the Project Life cards that you get from Be Becky Higgins, or at least the ones I do. These are so um, thin that the sh a Sharpie will show right through to the other side. So what I did was I cut just out of scrap paper, like old scrap paper. So I just have a white um, line around the other side. Oh, you know what? I It's not exactly the same, is it? Um, I think what I need to do is just pick a couple more of these um, patterns so that they'll all have kind of a pattern. See that? So let's just pick a couple more patterns. Um, I think I'm just going to keep going with these neutral colors. So I'll pick this one. And I think it would be okay if I had two of those. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just using this, use a little something so you don't get your desk all sticky. A good thing to use is a magazine because then you can keep turning the page. That's a tip I learned from Don Donna Downey. They went to a class of hers years ago. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to, we need the little journaling spot, so we're just going to put that little bit in the middle. So I'm just using a glue stick. And so sometimes I think if you're struggling with someone or a situation in your life, sometimes it's good to do scrapbooking about that because it can not only help them, but if you're the person that's giving the support to them, it might just help you too. So sometimes, you know, you tell these positive things to the person you're trying to cheer up, but they might also help you cheer up too. So sometimes I need to also encourage myself um, because it's, you know, if you're having a frustrating situation in life, it's it's very easy to focus on what's wrong with things. And, you know, one of the, the positivity quotes that I love the best is, um, it was like late, remember the Sopranos? <laughs> and, um, you know, Tony was kind of a horrible husband and cheated on his wife all the time. And she, you know, she hung in there. Not that I'm advocating that, but um, he was like, how do you do it? You always, you know, stay pretty positive. And she, I don't think he said that, but she was just like, I focus on the positive things and just don't think about the negative things, which is, you know, an extreme example, but um, it just stuck with me that um, you can just choose to you know, you can choose your lens in life. And so, and, and the other thing that I, that I love um, as a positivity quote is, um, is the one from Randy Pausch. And he says, um, you know, it's Tigger, it's Tigger or Eeyore. You know, you have to choose, you know, are you going to be Tigger or are you going to be Eeyore? And, um, I just love that. Okay, so I have um, done a search in Pinterest for happiness quotes. It says, there's only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. The ones who find happiness aren't the ones who... The ones who find happiness are the ones who don't make excuses. If it's broken, they fix it. If it's wrong, they make it right. Happiness starts with you, not your relationships, not your, your job, not your money, but with you. Optimists... Optimism is a happiness magnet. If you stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. Okay, I like that one. So I'm just going to write that. <coughs> Pardon me. Still have a cold. Optimism is a happiness magnet if you stay positive.
sensitive. Good things and good people will be drawn to you. Okay, I don't know who said that it does it doesn't include who said that, so I just wrote love mom. Okay, so that one's done. I think all of these are both sides, yes. Yep. So I'll have like ten little quote cards. And I don't think they're going to show. I think they're going to be um, some kind of hidden journaling, like something that you can pull out on the page. That's what I'm planning. I don't have my page, um, my design of the page yet. But I think I will be making some sort of a pocket, but not a pocketed page. Um, I was telling somebody about a pocket page the other day, and they were like, oh, how is that a pocketed page? And, you know, they thought it was like a Project Life binder thing and I like to make pockets on my page just out of the pattern paper um, or the, the photos so I can tuck things in. Um, smile, good things are going to work out. You may not see it now but God is directing you to a much greater happiness. Okay. Think of all the beauty left around you, the beauty still left around you and be happy. That's by Anne Frank. Wow. Oh, poor Anne Frank. You know, somebody, there, there's like, I saw a poster at the library last night. It was like, Anne Frank's stepsister is coming to the Gulfport Library, which I didn't know anything about that. Um, I didn't know she had a stepsister. Happiness is when you feel good about yourself without feeling the need for anyone else's approval. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if you, if only remembers, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Happiness is not determined by what's around you, but rather what's inside you. Happiness is an inside job. Um, don't assign anyone else that much power in your life. Keep choosing happiness daily, and happiness will keep choosing you back. I like that one. Um, oh, I like this one better. Being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It means that you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. Yes! <laughs> exactly. Being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It means that you've decided to look beyond. What's nice about the Pinterest quotes is you can kind of mimic the way that they've laid out um, the words, you know, so you can you can center it too beyond. The imperfections. Okay, let's see if anybody said that. I don't know what it is. Somebody said it. Who knows what? I'm just going to write love mom. I didn't say it, but I'm repeating it. So, there you go. Okay. So, I've made the five journaling cards. I don't know exactly where they're going to go on the page, but they are going to go somewhere on the page. This is what the other side of them looks like. Ta-da. Okay. And I have six photos picked out, which I'm not really sure I'm going to get to use all six photos. Um, okay. So this is like, my daughter and I were pretty happy about having lunch. Um, and then this is after lunch when, you know, he has a full belly and he's much happier then. So those are two pictures that I'd like to focus on. Um, also perhaps this one, cause he's not super, you know, unhappy in this one, but in these ones, he's kind of like, uh, 
you know, not so very happy. Um, so I'm wondering, perhaps I might cut these down um, and make them maybe the same size as these. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> so I, you know, if I cut them down, I'm going to lose the mountains out the window. Um, but they're not exceptionally great photos. Uh, and I do have the mountains in this photo. So I think I'm going to cut them down to the, to the, um, three by four size. And I'm still, again, I'm not sure where anything else, where anything's going on this page. I think there, it's going to be some kind of a pocket page, but may, but not necessarily a pocketed page. If that makes sense. Or maybe it should be a pocketed page. So there's, that should be about the same size. Yep. So three by four. There we go. lot of talk about pocketed pages lately and I do appreciate them and I might even use one for this page but honestly it's not like the pocket pages for me just aren't quite as exciting as um, I really want to I, I kind of don't want to lose that part of it, of the photo. It's not silly. I'm, so I'm not going to throw that away just yet, but I probably will throw it away. Let's see if I can. I wonder if I can just have a little. I don't know. It doesn't. I could. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's even worth it. It's just the mountains like that view is just so special to me. <laughs> it's a little tiny view and I have other pictures. Um, I probably don't need to save those, but I just really love the top of that mountain. Okay, so here's my, here's what I've got so far. So I've got nine of these cards or if I put these together, then I don't have nine. Then I have seven. Let's let's pull out a, a, one of those pocket pages and see what happens. So I really haven't used my kit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so I'm walking over to my bookshelves and I have some empty. Yeah, I have some. Some of my albums are empty. Like, for example, this album is empty, except it's full of page protectors. So, this looks like a possibility. This first one here. And I have lots of different designs of the pocket pages, so I almost think... Oh, it's too shallow. It's maybe not, though. This one has eight spaces, I don't know if you, but the, the top spaces are kind of, I'd have to cut these down. Ah, let's keep looking. Um, I have a lot of different configurations of these types of pages. Let's see about, no. I should probably like get these organized a little bit better. A lot of these are, it looks like we are memory keepers and also, um, I don't know what the other company is, Crop Plastic Products. Crop and Style? I don't know. Then this one just says Plastic Products. <laughs> They're plastic products, people. Um, I think some of these were actually like, okay, this one is a better possibility. I like the layout of this, but I wish it would go 
like this way instead of this way. Um, this is Becky Higgins, actually. I don't think that's going to work. But it would work like... See, it would work if I did it this way. But it's oriented. Let me see which one this is. It doesn't say. Design B. So if you flip Design B on its side, I think it would work better for this page. Um, hmm. Here's another one. This one is Becky Higgins Design F. Let's try this one and just see where we go from there. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. So if I just put these back to back, just because that's where they would go, and then I will, come on, okay, oh, that's that side, I think I'm going to have to trim these down just a little bit more, hmm, I wonder if I'm going to have to trim all of these down, yes, oh, that's a little bit annoying, but it's not... <laughs> <laughs> this is about being positive though, right? So let's be positive about it and um, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay. I promise I'll use, I'll, I will pull that kit out and we'll use it a little bit so we don't feel like we didn't use our counterfeit kit club because I think I could still do a little bit of embellishments and that sort of thing. Um, yeah. So let's just do the back to back on these photos. And I just want to make sure that they're both pointing in the right, in the same direction. And now I'm just going to trim them down. So I'm going to trim it down to 2.9. And let's see if that fits. Yep, I think I could have even gone a little bit bigger than 2.9. It's probably like 2.95. So that's going to be the back side. Okay. And then we've got this one here. Okay. If that fits without doing anything to it. It actually does, but I'm going to just even it up just a little bit. So they were talking about pocket pages and project life on this week's paper clipping round table. And um honestly I love the paper clipping round table. I think it's awesome and they put a lot of work into it. And it's, I think it's really well done. Um, but I think that we've had a lot of episodes about Project Life. Which I guess is appropriate because Project Life is a big thing in scrapbooking. But honestly, I'm just a little, blah, a little, a little tired of hearing about it. Um, and even these pages, like... I think they're great. I think um, it's fun to use them. I'm using them right now. But I, d I think that, like, how much do you need to say about it? I don't know. That, I'm just complaining. Which is, not which is like, exactly opposite of what I'm preaching here, right? <laughs> so I should just stop that. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just sliding these in. Some of them I'm going to need to trim. But yeah, I I think this whole, you know, pocketed page thing is totally awesome. 
but um, it's not my favorite thing to listen to or even look at. Um, I like regular old layouts. I think they're much more interesting, at least to me. So, so there's um, so you know. I'm <laughs> Not trying to complain. I'm still happy. I still love the show. And one of the things I liked in this past show was um, was that um, Jess Forster was on. She's a scrapbooker. Her blog, I think, is called Life on Lee Avenue. And she said. And I left a comment, but she had a couple sound bites that I, I really liked. Um, one of them was, um, with her project life, she was, she like stopped embellishing to the high heavens. I just thought that was like the cutest thing to say. My sister says stuff like that. My sister's language is peppered with like all this, you know, all these little phrases that were probably from my old old New England, you know. They're from Okay, so here we go with I've got some photos down and then I've got some of these in and now I have three more spaces to fill up on each side. And so I think that I can think about putting more photos in cuz I've written a lot already. I could you know, devote a couple of them to just embellishments, but honestly, if I can choose between, um, if I can choose, then I choose, oh, that's a nice one. Some of these I just don't want to cut down. Um, these are from our ski trip to Colorado last year. Um... But I like putting, um, I could probably use that. I know I've used these in a couple of other, oh, look at the mountains down there. That's why I don't want to cut it down. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this one. No, because I've got the mountains here and, and then, um, so I don't kind of want to lose that perspective, even though I shouldn't probably worry too much about that. And I know there's some duplicates here. Huh. This one's possible. You know what I... I don't know. I hate to... <laughs> okay, this one's... This one can be cut down, I think. And it's the two of them, like, kind of getting along. That's good. Try to use that one. So there's one that's gonna, I think, go down this way, and then here's another one. It's like them doing about the same thing. They they found a geocache. Um, I like this one too. I'll use that one. And I liked these two because when I cut. Like, when I trimmed them, I'm not losing anything, like, super important. So I'm just going to put another photo down here. And then I still have two more spots to fill up. Yeah. How's that for positive? I'm like, oh! look at all these positive quotes and then I'm like and I hate it when they start talking about project life I don't hate it but it's just not it's not my favorite honestly look at how gorgeous that is ah <sighs> yes okay let's see if we can find oh I like that one it's not really okay so this is like this one of me and my daughter I think I can 
kind of cut down. And then this one is the two of them looking a little bit more happy. There we go. And that, it's not a great photo. It's inside at this, you know, we're having lunch at the ski lodge. And, but I'm going to put this one over here. Because that's actually from the, the time that I'm thinking about. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. So let's just see. I might just fill these little, all these spaces up if I can with, I kind of haven't told the story though, have I? I haven't told the story of actually this page or why I'm talking about all this positive stuff and maybe I should do that. So let me just find one more picture for the backside of this. Not that it has to both be a photo, because it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. I'm going to put these little bits, which may be thrown away later, but I'm going to put them back with the stack of ski trip photos. Um, okay. So I have a little, um, right next to my desk, I have a spot where I keep a bunch of um, journaling cards or Project Life type cards. And so I've just grabbed a little handful of them. And let's see if I can now tell my, the story of what am I... This is our story. <laughs> I'm not going to do that one. No. Um, crazy family? No. Not for this page. Uh, okay. That one I might... And I might make the little journaling card. Let's see. No, I got a lot of chevrons going on. So let's not use that. Okay. I don't mind this red, actually. That could happen. As the background, and then I... I'll put a little, or maybe that. Yay, nay. I think that's all right, actually. So I like those, and then I think I'm going to cut out the little bits to make um, the journaling on top. And then let's just go with that, and... Or maybe the stripe. I like the stripe. All right. And so now I'm just going to cut down some um, scrap paper. And I also have just a bin real handy next to me of scrap paper that I don't need. I just basically want to use the back side of something that I'm not that interested in. So here's just some paper that I'm not that crazy about. It's okay, but I don't mind cutting it up. So I'm just going to cut that to like three and a half, or just about three and a half by like two and a half, and that should fit. Yes. Okay. And now I'm just gonna do that, that little, um, the border. Remember I did that? So there might be no embellishments. I might not embellish to the high heavens on this. I just thought that was so funny. And then the other thing she said was that um, she used to keep like all the ephemera and memorabilia of life. And that, I think she said this, and that it just got to be like, 
You don't need to save like every movie ticket. And I'm kind of in that same boat. I, I save like all the stuff. And then you end up with like way too much stuff. So I'm in the process of like going through a lot of that old stuff and just putting it in the trash can. Yep, that's what I'm, I've been up to. So, um, oh no. Oh, that's a Sharpie for ya. Oh. I don't think that's coming out. Maybe it will. Let's see. It comes out of the mat. Let's see if I have an eraser. I'm kind of bummed about that. Let's see if an eraser takes that out. Not really. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, but aw. I love my teal mat. I think it's so pretty. And I don't actually really need it because the desk that I have is so, um, it's distressed already. So I don't know what I think I'm protecting, but I do think it's kind of prettier in my scrapbook videos to see this <laughs> instead of the brown desk. So that's why I've been using it. Okay, so let's start with the story. And, okay. Went a little bit like this. So now I'm just going to glue these down. Oops. And I want to have the pattern sticking out on the other side. I'm thinking if I want to use any kind of a stamp or something like letter stickers to tell the story of what's going on. So let, let me just look at my little set of embellishments and see if there's any kind of stickers or anything that I could add to these before I start writing the story on them. I also think that instead of using black or green, which are the two Sharpie colors that I've used to tell the story. I think I'll tell that in a blue Sharpie. So let me get that, just so it's a little bit, so you can notice that it's a little bit different. Um, oops. Oh. Okay, so I pulled two Sharpies. I'm going to come straight back. Um, I'm not going to change a thing. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> I just um, had to take a little break. Uh, okay, so we're going to write the story of what is happening here. So I wanted to look to see if I had anything that would kind of help me tell the story. I have these rub-ons. They might be like an embellishment possibility because I think that the colors are good or similar. I've got these letter stickers which also might be a good alternate, good something. Okay, this is basic gray clippings. Hmm. I sort of like it, but I'm not sure if I want to use this. Um, this is, I think this would work, but I actually want to use this for something else. <laughs> so we're in, like process of elimination here. This is Christmas, so nope, like this. Um, this is some chalkboard stickers. Life and love are beautiful. Shine on, shine on. Life is better with friends. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Here is a letter or a stamp set or retro technology. I don't think that's really going to work. Um. Uh, 
Um, this might be a good like embellishment possibility because I can cut these out and this is real life which is what I'm talking about and then it says hey and I could cut that one out and I'm just thinking of a third one because I've got three there so I did like real life So let's just start cutting this one up and see what we can do. I used this as the background of a different um, layout recently and I just kept cutting it and cutting it and cutting it. So there's real life. And then um, let's see. I'm just gonna cut this in half just so the page is a little bit easier to look at. And then I have awesome and hey. Let's use those, I think. Uh, yeah, that, I think this will work, because it's not really you and me. Oh, and there was that quote by, um, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, I, I don't remember what it is, but I don't, I, the gist of it is, like, whenever I start feeling sad, then I just start being, then I just try to be awesome. So let's look that up on Pinterest. And you can just put that in a search. So instead of just scrolling through it, just say um, in the search, Neil Patrick Harris. Quote. Um, when I'm sad, I stop being sad, and instead, I am be awesome instead. Okay. So that's going to be one of my... That's oh, my mom calling. Sorry, Mom. I will call you back. There's a... Now there's evidence that I'm actively avoiding calls. <laughs> do you all do that? I'm kind of a uh, not answer the phone every time it rings. I'm guilty of that. But sometimes you have to, just like you have to tell yourself positive little things, sometimes you have to carve out some selfish time for yourself. And that's what I do every day with scrapbooking. So yes, there's other things I ought to be doing. But is this important? Yes, it is. And I think that if you, especially if you use scrapbooking to kind of um, lift yourself up and lift your, your people up, then, <laughs> so I heard at a crop once, like that's cheaper than therapy. So um, <laughs> I just think it's important to take the time to, um, out of your busy life, especially if you're an American mom. Um, one time, one of my, I got a comment on my blog, and the person was either from Australia or New Zealand, and she was like, oh, you American moms, you just try to do everything. And, um, you know, you just, like, we take it a little harder than everybody else. Or, I don't know if we do or we don't, but I think we do. I think she was right. And so there's real life. And here's awesome. I like that one. So that's going to go somewhere in it on this side. So let's do the Neil ha Patrick Harris quote. When I'm sad, so this isn't, this is actually going to be a quote, not the story. So I'm going to go back to that black letter or the black pen. Okay. When I'm sad, I'm sad. 
I stop being sad? Sad. And B. And then we're gonna put that right in the middle. And yeah, I think that could use a pop dot. Probably should. Why not? <laughs> so we'll give it a little dimension. Not a ton, just a little bit. And be awesome. Okay, so when I'm sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. And awesome was my word of the year a couple of years ago because of that quote, because I just was like, because it was kind of ironic, you know, like kind of like a little bit snarky, like, oh, everybody's picking like believe and, you know, all those like super inspiring words. And I just thought, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick awesome. <laughs> and it was one of my favorite one little words ever. I still like, I carry that still. I still think that's a great way to think about life. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> okay, so let's get this done. Um, here's real life and hay. So I think hay is going to go there. I don't really like the orientation of that. I'd like real life to be here. But I don't like the hay going that way too, which seems a little picky, I know. But let's just do it a different way. Let's do this hay or... Uh, hold on. <laughs> I know, it seems like I shouldn't really... Uh, be worried about it too much. Let's not worry about it. Let's see if we can switch it though. Just so it's a little bit different. Now I really like that on the other side. Sorry, so indecisive. <laughs> when I'm being indecisive, I just start being decisive. Right? So oh no! Now I have two of those. Okay. I really I really did mess it up. Okay, this one's gonna go on this side. It's okay. Okay. And that this little pocket is a little bit smaller than this little pocket. <laughs> have you ever watched that movie, um, Superstar with Molly Shannon? <laughs> she talks about her um chest. <laughs> she says now this one's a little bit bigger than this one. This one is the mommy, and this one is, the, sorry, that's way tangent. Just reminded me of that. Okay, and then this is going to go here. Yeah, that's a silly tangent. Sorry about that. Okay, real life. Okay. Here's... Sorry. We finally got to the top of Durango Mountain and got to have lunch at Dante's and you Okay, I want to keep make sure I have enough space for my thing. Um, so let's get that on there so we don't lose that. Somebody's making a lot of noise out in my yard. My husband always has something going on out there. I'm not sure what he's um, up to today. Maybe there's some pressure washing going on. That's what it sounds like. Um, so real life, 
So even though that's going to be like quoting from nowhere, oh well. You picked this time to get grouchy. Grrr. Love, Mom. And that really was, that's the story. He really did. He, maybe I, I wonder if I can rearrange this somehow. Maybe that. Now I'm going to have to cut this one down. Okay, so this is the story. And, well, that almost fits, but I'm going to just trim it a tiny bit. Yeah, I was so frustrated when we got up there and, like, we had gone the day before and it was, wasn't was open only on the weekends. And we finally get up there and I'm like, oh, isn't this amazing? And he was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate it. He had, like, two hamburgers. I'm so happy. And, um... He was just like in a funk. I think he was probably hungry, which, you know. Okay. Okay, so this side of the page is, this is a different day. And he, um, he also started out this lunch grumpy. Um, and we were at a different, we were just at the regular lodge, like at the bottom of the mountain. And so I was kind of like, eh, because it was more like a cafeteria. Um, and then he dropped his cheeseburger and um, then he got a little upset about that. So we started lunch like kind of um, a little bit grouchy that day too. But... I guess I must have been in like a better mental place that day, like more able to deal with it because it didn't bother me as much as it did on this day, which like it kind of bothered me that day. Um, but on this day, okay, so mental note for we're going to Utah this month to go skiing. A mental note, get food in this boy like long before you think he needs it because otherwise lunch is going to be grouchy. See, scrapbooking is good because you can learn things and observe things and prevent future problems. There you go. Um, okay, so hey, remember when you dropped your lunch and then gave Allison and I a Lady Gaga performance. Then he like, after he dropped his lunch, he started, we, when we finally sat down, he started singing Lady Gaga to us and it was just hilarious. You are so entertaining. And we love you all the time. So we love you. Even if you are grumpy. So there we go. Story told. Okay. That's a lot of words, huh? Oh, I feel like this one should get just a little trim too. So fit in there just a little bit. So the story is on the blue, and then the the um the happiness or positivity quotes are in black. Got a bunch of photos there. Same deal on this side. And it is a real, you know, this says real life, but it really is like that's a real life story. Um, can we embellish? Let's see. I'm kind of thinking that, um, these rub-ons might, like, they kind of work with the color scheme. Let's see what we can do. Let's do this. Just put 
put it on one side of the photo. That's another thing I need to remember this trip too, is to get myself with my kids in the photos more because those are the photos that I really value later. So I need to ask strangers, <laughs> hey, will you please take our picture? Because, you know, we're tourists. And I don't do that enough. And also to do that just with me, like me in the picture. Because I really love my ski trips and um, and I just don't, like, there's just a, like, I'll take, like, a thousand pictures when I'm on a ski trip, and then I'll get home and there'll be, like, three or four of just me. You know, like, it's not a lot. Okay, this is not, this surface is giving too much, so let me, I need something harder. I'm just going to go to a different surface that's a little bit harder, but you won't be able to see me. Actually, I can bring this over here. Okay, so I went to the library last night. I think I mentioned that. And um, my library has a section where books are for sale. I got this for $2. And um, I'm going to use it for part of that. My have that Century Scrapbook album. And that's a project that I like to work on. So I'm going to use this book to help me get some inspiration and get back into my Century Scrapbook project. And when I was buying the book, it was $2, um, the, the librarian was like, oh, did you see Walter Mitty? And yes, we did, um, but I kind of forgot about that he worked at Life. That wasn't, like, wasn't why I went for this book, but I was like, oh yeah. That was a good movie. That's a movie about being positive, I think. Or it was more like taking risks or being out there in life, not being so introverted, which is another lesson for another day. Well, these are going on um, harder than, I had some others the other day that went on really easy. And these ones just aren't, don't seem as easy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to leave them. I'm going to leave that top part on. I think it's fine. Because I think if I pull it up, the, all those little rub ons just aren't going to go on right. So it's fine. There we go. Yeah. And then I have these two little stars and I've got two of them down here so let's put that on this one oops I didn't really want it there but that's where it's going and this one seems to be going down strip of them didn't seem to be going down quite so well. Let's just see. So that one I did get up. And there's two kids, so two little dots, even though, you know, there's that rule of three in design. Sometimes it's okay to just have two. So there's two little stars down there. Okay, let's see if we can get some embellishments on this side. I want to say there's like some food embellishments in here. There's the potty people. We were talking about potty people yesterday at the Masterful Scrapbook Design Office Hours with Emily Pitts. Okay. Here's just a, it's like kind of just a travel strip, but I like it. Going this way. So I just want to do like a little bit, you know, a little bit of something. 
to make the page look special. And a lot of times I think like, oh, it's not really necessary to do all the embellishments, but if you put a little extra in, I think it does make a difference. It shows that you spent a little more time. And it makes the page a little more visually interesting. Are they necessary? No, not really. But they're fun. Okay. I think those are going to come up. So just the one little section there didn't come up very well. Okay. So I've got that. And now see if I can get something down in that space. Nothing major, maybe just these little dots. Just this line of dots here. Almost there, almost done. Woohoo. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I just like learned something, you know, that I will make sure that my son's belly is full before lunch. You know, like maybe I just carry some granola bars or something in my pocket um, to keep his belly full so we don't run into these like kind of um, super deliriously. Um, grouchy times that he sometimes experiences before he eats. You know, and you think you learn these lessons, but sometimes if you're traveling, you kind of forget stuff, you know, because <laughs> you're worried about 50 other things. But I have made a mental note, so maybe it's going to go right there. Uh, just leave it like this. There we go. And I've got one more little strip here. Let's see where it can go. I'm just trying to put it somewhere. It doesn't really need to go anywhere. I don't really have a place for it, so I'm just going to stick it back in this little container. And I think I'm about done. What do you think? Need any more tchotchkes on this thing? Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay. Let's look at... I do have stickers. Let's see if any of them... I don't think any of those really work. There's a be happy. Okay, maybe. It could maybe go right here. completely loving it, but let me just see. And if I do that, I'm going to need to do a couple more things, you know, like, let me just see if I can put it over this kind of ugly part of the page. No, I don't like that. So I like the sentiment, but I don't really like, I don't really want to put it above his head on that one, so I'm going to nix that. You know, it says happy, and that's what I'm talking about. Um, I don't think it works. Let's just look a little bit more of these stickers. So no, no. 
Mm, no. There's one that says smile. That's possible, but I don't think. Um, do, 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 do. No. Happy life. The best day ever. <laughs> That's every day, right? Um, okay, so I don't really see any stickers that I'm super thinking that are going to work. And this is my kit here. Oh, maybe, let's look at this. Didn't look at that yet. Oh, I've got one that says awesome. Huh. I need to see. And I've got a mountain. Okay. So I've got adventures. I've got hugs and a bear. Okay. I'm thinking this is possible. And the colors look like they're about the same. This is, um, Hey Boy from Basic Gray. <coughs> Excuse me. Again. Sorry about that. Okay. So, now we can possibly get some cute embellishments on here. I like that this is clear because you can kind of figure out where you want it to go. I don't, I thought I would like this adventure especially because it has a, a mountain, but it's not really, it doesn't really go. And then I've got Happy Camper, which sort of goes with the theme, but not particularly. It's kind of almost like sarcastic, you know, in this context. So, no. I've got one that says hugs. I like that. We've got one here that says happy camper, which I can maybe put over here, because he actually is happy over there. Let's do that. All right. Because I don't want it to be, like, snarky, you know. But this one actually says happy camper. And they were happy over here in this picture. So I like that. And I had one that said hugs. And that seems like a nice sentiment. Like, I know you're grouchy, but I still love you. And also there was a bear behind him, which you wouldn't necessarily know, but there was. And so one, two, now if there's two... There ought to be a third. Um, and it doesn't have to be one of these little... There's Adventure Starts Here. It can be, though. But I think it's not going to be. Let's maybe just put this... Okay. I'll put that on this page. A little like there is he's sad and then I'm like the mountain is kind of pointing up at keep a smile in your heart I don't like how close it is to that so I'm thinking of changing that I also begin to think at this point that I'm spending too much time worrying about it Okay, can I use Happy Camper? I've used it down there, so no. How about this one? Um, hmm. I sort of like this stripe, but not completely. This. Okay. I don't know about this. This is like having it go. No, that's not good. 
I really feel like I need one more, like one, two, and then something. But I don't know what. Gah! <laughs> Too much thought, right? Let's just put it here. And I've put it outside of the page protector so you can feel it. Because I'm not completely committed to it. But there you go. Who knows? Okay. Now I have this side. And I could put the little adventure goes here. It starts here. And this one. Just trying to... Be a little bit playful, not embellished to the high heavens, the low heavens, <laughs> the regular heavens. Um, okay, this is two. The two of you. And I just feel like I want to do one more thing. I don't know what. Let's see, if I would have planned it out a little more, I would have been able to, um, like, leave some space. Okay. I didn't do that. It's okay. I'm gonna put that at the top of this one. I'm gonna move this number two over this side. And then I'm gonna call it done. Ta-da! Here we go. And I'm sure the picture of this is going to be horrible because it's going to be all glary, but that's what we're looking at. It took a long time. It seems like this layout took way longer than it looks like it took. The thing that I don't like about these pages sometimes is it feels like these come out very easily. So let's see what we can do to fix that. Not like these... These Project Life cards don't necessarily come out, but this one kind of feels like, oh, that comes straight out. So let's see if we can just, I know what to do. Let's just use some washi on the, on the top of that page. Because I don't think it's going to interfere with either of the pictures. <coughs> <coughs> oh, so sorry. For you and me. So I've got this color washi. I've also got some polka dots, which feel happy. I've got some black and white polka dots. Let's try these red ones first. See what they look like. I don't think it needs to go across the whole page necessarily. It can just go like... Maybe just right like this. Does that work? Kind of, sort of. Okay, it's a little awkward, but it's all right. Let's see if we can do a little bit more of that. Pardon me. Oh, I gotta go. That's my husband He's saying, come on, what are you doing?
too much? Probably. I'm just putting these on the outside of the photos of the page protectors because <laughs> I think it's fine. They'll get a little tactile and I've put them in visual triangles. So I've tried to do all, even though there's like a lot of embellishments going on, there's of the of the fabric ones, there's one, two, three. And then one, two, three on the the washi tape. And so one, two, three on the washi tape. One, two, three on those fabric things. Not necessarily with the um these, but what do you do? It's okay. It's all done and that's all for today. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.